Hey guys, Pet Academy, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be bringing to you guys a quick demo review type video. It's going to be a little different from my normal product reviews I used to do back in the day. It's going to basically consist of a few key factors such as what the product is, what it does, how it looks, smells, feel, and basically like my overall opinion on a product. So with that being said, I'm going to get straight to it. I don't want to talk too much. I'm going to be talking about the Maya Organics. Babasu or Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. What is it? It is a deep conditioner and it consists of Babasu or Babasu and Mint. What it does. So basically, this is a deep conditioner that is made for dry and damaged hair and is basically supposed to replenish it. Remember, moisture and protein, one is not better than the other. They both work hand in hand for a healthy hair care regimen. So it's great to know that there's certain deep conditioners out there that pretty much has the protein moisture balance. And I don't think I've ever tried a deep conditioner that has a little bit of both. It's usually either or. What does it feel like? So it's not like your normal deep conditioner where it's like a really thick consistency. It's somewhat thick, but it's more so on the runnier side. Not like a cup of water runny, but it's definitely a mixture of both. If I was to turn the deep conditioner upside down, it will slip right out of the jar. Speaking of slip, well just because the, the deep conditioner is not that thick, it is not to be slept on because it has a lot of slip and you can see in the video clip I am easily able to run my fingers through my hair from root to tip as I'm finger detangling. I didn't use any combs the entire time that I was basically deep conditioning my hair. What does a product look like? To me, it is an off-whitish color and it's a bit on the runny side. And to me, I think it literally has this, it resembles the same look like an eggnog drink that you would drink at like a Thanksgiving dinner. So if you know what eggnog looks like, that's literally how it looks to me. What does it smell like? So as far as the smell goes, honestly, you're either going to hate it or love it. It's no in-between. And I say that because it has a really potent, pungent smell. So just imagine the scent of like a herbal, minty, pepperminty type of tea. That's what you can kind of compare it to as far as the scent goes. I can't put my nose to it right now, but it smells like some type of mint. I'm just not sure what kind. How do you use it? So I'm gonna read it directly from the, the label. Basically, you're supposed to after shampoo and you're sectioning your hair into four sections and you're basically applying the deep conditioner from root to tip. And they tell you to cover with a plastic cap for 15 minutes. For an intense treatment, you're gonna sit under your dryer for 30 minutes. And then you rinse it out with cool water and style as, as desired. I tweaked with the instructions just a bit, nothing major. The only thing I changed was I didn't split my hair into four sections. You can see in the clip, I'm basically finger detangling from root to tip and making sure my hair is fully saturated with the conditioner. I did feel a little bit of tingling, which I like. And um, basically, I did cover my hair with a plastic cap. I sat under my hooded steamer for 15 minutes just for intense hydration. After I let my hair cool down for about five minutes or so and I stepped in the shower, I didn't rinse with cool water but look warm water. How did I like the product? So I'm going to talk about the pros, cons, and my overall thoughts on the product. The pros is it made my curls pop, it would left my hair less frizzier than normal and it was very extremely moisturized, gave my hair a lot of slip. Those are major key factors that I look for in any type of deep conditioner. The only cons, and I wouldn't necessarily say it's a con, it just depends on the person, but it comes in an eight ounce uh, jar and uh, the product itself is about $15 or so. So my overall opinion on the product, I would definitely purchase it. Um, although this was given to me, shout out to my girl Phoebe, but this was given to me, but once I run out, I would definitely purchase this. So overall, I definitely do like the product. Something that is very big to me is accessibility. This product can be found and bought everywhere. Online, it's becoming more accessible. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review slash demo type of video. If you guys did use this product and had different results or used it in a different manner, definitely let me know your thoughts or what your experience was with it. Very active in the comments down below. If you wanna see more videos like this, definitely give me a thumbs up or leave it down below and I'll see you guys next time.